So apparently when doing the throttle body removal video, which there's a link right up here if you need to know how to do that, I forgot to include the reinstallation, which uh, I did come across one very important thing at the end that I did wrong and want to make sure you guys do right. So without further ado, here's how to put it back on. All right, just clean the inside of this out with a paper towel. It's, uh, it's a little dirty. Some uh, carbon buildup in here, it looks like. Get a paper towel for that. All right, just give this a little shot. And what I should do to clean it thoroughly properly is remove these four bolts to get in to it from the back better. But. Pretty big opening. There, good as new. Just doing the lazy cursory cleaning of these things. This one's got a little oil in it. And uh, these pieces will come all the way off like this one did. So I'm definitely gonna go back and clean this one up. Uh, but you can see this little hose came out of it. There's a little port where it goes in. Uh, that one has one too as well. It is on the this side. This guy's one is on that side. While all of this was off, it was a great opportunity to um, clean some stuff down here. Um, and at that point, you can um, conveniently use uh, some white tape to um, seal up any opening, uh, put a trash bag um, if you're either hosing off or um, using a um, steam cleaner, which is probably the best practice because uh, it you know, will give you the least amount of water. So I gotta reconnect this guy down here. Yeah. Try to keep that tubing in approximately the same direction it was in. Yep, that was easier. Stick this little guy back in his port. Uh, I guess I'm gonna do that later after I get this thing back on. All right, here comes another sucky part. It's just a lot of pushing and finagling. I'm trying to get crap to line up. Just had lunch break. Back at this thing. I think we're almost there. It's easier if I lift this up some. Yeah. Just pry this a little bit. Secret. Great success. Yeah. Yeah. I got the the other one on the bottom. Yeah. Rotate this. Yeah. Reinsert this little hose. Is there something obstructing it on the inside? Yeah, potentially Question. take that last. You might have the wrong angle on the rubber uh, boot. Yeah. You might want to take that last. Could be that this piece was in too far, but I don't think so. 
Did it go through the hose there on the inside or on the outside originally? What do you mean? <clears throat> You're right now going through oh, yeah. the hose yeah, here instead of the outside, but it looks like it would probably be there. Um, yes, yeah, I think that's how it went. But I think we should probably get this guy situated first. All right, we got that pressed all the way back inside. I tightened these two up. Just gonna tighten the two clamps on the other side up. And don't tighten up before you got everything in your final position. All right, I gotta rotate this thing down so that the little bracket is over the pin. Bracket down there. <laughs> Seated. Let's make sure it's nice and loose so I can make this connection again. Those connections are on. I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect all of our electrical stuff down here. Push that in. Make sure it's snapped on. And go down here. Easy. Stick him back in. Snapped in. I'm gonna put this thing back on our bracket. All right, that's all back in place. Uh, Alright, put our 10 millimeter nut back on the post down here. Uh, 10 millimeter bolts to hold this in place. Alright, now we can tighten up these hose clamps with our 7 millimeter again. They rotate it on you, just make sure that they're sticking up at an angle that you can get a tool on it easily. And the other one was this wire. Right. Maybe they lock together like that. Oh, I like that. Or that overlap nice. one of each other. Okay, now we can uh, slide this piece back together. And, oops, I shouldn't have touched it quite yet. Let's see if I can still do it anyway. Yeah, don't attach that until you put this back in. See if I put it upside down. Yeah, I think they were um, vertically placed instead of horizontally placed. Yeah, they're vertical now. These are the two pins on top and bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah. slack to push that section down. Yeah, let me take that off again. Just... Alright, so I don't know if this has a right side up and an upside down. Looks like it probably does. Yeah, so you can see this is at an angle going in. So it seems like with this angle the 
longer tab is supposed to go on top. Let's see if that fits better. Yep, that was it. Okay, now we're locked back into place while we're here. Properly. Let's rotate this thing all, the, all the difference. And tuck him in. All right, we have our throttle replaced. Now, can interlock these guys. All right, there we go. All right, slightly more experienced and knowledgeable Aaron from the future here. Uh, when you are putting this cable back on, make sure that it is uh, pretty secure. Mine is still a little loose and has some play, but when I got in it to start driving it for the first time, I had to push the gas pedal all the way to the floor to engage the throttle at all, and here's why. Like I said, my cable still has a lot of play here, and it slipped off of here, and so when I pressed the accelerator, I had to press it all the way to the floor to grab this, to lift this up some. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this loose. Maybe somehow I stretched it out or something, but I placed it back here and went in and uh, pressed the accelerator pedal several times with the car off like this just to test it, and then it didn't come off. So I don't know why it came off that time, but... Uh, definitely press your pedal some after putting this on to make sure that it is on. So I know that when I took this off, this part became disengaged. And now that I'm in here, I can see that I can separate it here or make it tighter here. And so it's pretty loose here, but if I pull this back a bit and it comes out, then I have more tension on here. So I'm definitely going to leave it pulled out a little bit to keep tension on. Uh, is this how you're supposed to adjust the tension? If so, let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, I did a little more experimenting and it seems like this is an 11 millimeter nut right here. And uh, I'm thinking that that is what's used to tighten this so that you can dial in the tension on here. But you guys that know better than me, let me know. All right, gonna put the hose back to our AOS now. Gonna line these guys up. And press them back into place until they snap. There's one click. Almost done. Oh, shit. What if they're broken up? Does this rotate at all? Just oh, oh. um, okay. spin it around in case that it's not on the actual. No, it didn't tooth. rotate. Now it's locked on. Okay. I don't think I broke that one. I'm gonna hope I didn't break that one. All right, make sure you removed all your tools from in here. And I think I have everything back together. So I'm just gonna reconnect the battery and uh, give it a shot, see what happens. Hopefully that was helpful guys. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, all that good YouTube stuff. And I'll see you on the next video.